Modern cars use a network of sensors to keep track of how well the engine is running. If one of these sensors stops working, it can cause several worrying symptoms. One sensor that's especially sensitive is the engine coolant temperature sensor, and if it stops working, it could lead to serious problems. To start, the engine coolant temperature sensor measures how hot the engine coolant is. This helps the control module adjust how much fuel goes into the engine and turns on the cooling fan when it's needed. Now, let's talk about the usual signs of a bad coolant temperature sensor, what makes it go wrong, and how much it costs to replace it. Symptom number one, check engine light flashing or staying on. When the engine malfunction light flashes or stays on, it means the ECM is constantly checking sensor readings and may trigger a DTC if it detects unusual sensor data. This can result in codes like P0115, P0118, P0119, and others. A sudden appearance of the check engine light often signals a problem with the engine coolant temperature sensor, and the light can stay on until the issue is fixed or the diagnostic code is cleared. Symptom number two, poor fuel economy. Another sign of a failing coolant temperature sensor is reduced fuel efficiency. This sensor is important for fuel delivery and timing calculations because it tells the engine control module how hot the engine is. When this sensor doesn't work properly and gives wrong readings, the engine may use more fuel than necessary. As a result, you'll find yourself filling up at the gas station more often. Symptom number three, dark colored exhaust. You might notice more black smoke from the tailpipe and a strong fuel smell. This issue can significantly reduce your vehicle's fuel efficiency because the ECT sensor thinks the engine is cold when it's actually hot, causing the engine to burn more fuel unnecessarily. This excess fuel burns incompletely, creating dark gray or black smoke. In severe cases, the smoke can be very thick and obvious. Symptom number four, engine overheating. Engine overheating is a serious sign of coolant temperature sensor failure. In most cars, the coolant sensor controls the radiator fan. If it stops working, the fan won't turn on, causing the engine to get too hot. This can damage other parts of the engine as well. Symptom number five, radiator. Fan remains inactive, despite unnoticed engine overheating. In most modern cars, a coolant sensor activates the radiator fan. If this sensor doesn't work right, the fan might not turn on even when the coolant gets too hot. This could lead to the engine overheating. Symptom number six, rough idle. If the temperature readings are wrong, the air-fuel mixture can be adjusted incorrectly, causing the engine to idle roughly and unevenly. This can make driving uncomfortable and lead to more serious problems if not fixed. Symptom number seven, Delayed engine crank. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can sometimes make it hard to start your engine, especially when it's hot or cold. Starting your engine requires specific conditions for fuel and ignition to work correctly. If the ECT sensor doesn't give accurate data to the ECM, you might have trouble starting the engine with longer or rough cranking. Symptom number eight, inconsistent temperature reading. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can make your car's temperature gauge fluctuate, showing incorrect readings. This might cause unnecessary worry or make you overlook actual overheating issues. So there you have it. These are the common symptoms to watch for if you suspect a faulty coolant temp sensor. If you're already certain it needs replacement, the cost varies depending on your vehicle model. Typically, the sensor itself costs between $20 and $80, with labor ranging from $50 to $250. This makes the total replacement cost range approximately between $70 and $330. We hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.